Are you planning on getting a housing loan to purchase your brand new home? Bank financing is absolutely a great option. With lots of banks in the Philippines offering almost the same services, but of course they are different in terms of interest rates, bank fees, that's why I'm here to show you an overview of some of the major banks' offerings when it comes to housing loans. What are the types of housing loans that these banks are offering? So the first one is the purchase of housing lot. If you're going to buy a brand new house or a brand new condo unit from a developer, you can use the bank housing loan and it usually has a down payment. So how much can you borrow? A maximum of 80% of the appraised value for house and lot purchase and a maximum of 70% of the appraised value for residential lots and condominium units. So for instance, if the selling price is 5 million and the appraised value is 80%, so you have to pay the 20% down payment with your own money. So the next one is the construction, improvement, or renovation loan. With this type of loan, you should already have a lot or a structure. And the lot is the collateral for the house construction loan. Next is refinancing. If you have an existing loan with a very high interest rate and you wish to get a lower interest rate, so the bank can pay off your existing loan and take over with a lower interest rate. So it's like shifting from bank to bank, whoever has the lowest interest rate. The last one is the equity loan. So with this one, you already have a housing lot and it's a clean title. You know, sometimes we need extra cash for whatever reason. So the bank lets you use your current home value to determine how much you can loan from them. But the thing here is your property will be your collateral. So make sure you have to pay for it or you will lose your own home. This information that I will be presenting are from the bank's website. Interest rates are subject to change without prior notice. So before your application, it's best to get in touch with the bank. So just to discuss some of the terms first, okay, we have the fixing period. We have to understand what fixing period means. So it simply means that the interest rate does not fluctuate and it stays the same for a specific period of time. So the interest rate is normally fixed from the date that the loan is released. So for example, one year fixed rate, so from March 2021 to March 2022, your interest rate is the same. You are protected from fluctuations and you have the option to have your interest fixed for one year, two years, three years, and so on. So after the initial fixing period, what happens next? So it will be subjected to yearly repricing. And this is the review and change of interest based on the current loan rate. And it occurs after the end of your fixed rate period. It may be higher, it may be lower, it depends. So what causes bank rates to fluctuate? So these are the three major reasons. Number one, inflation. Number two, supply and demand. And number three, government monetary policy. Before banks allow you to borrow, you have to be earning or have a minimum income of at least 50,000 a month. So now let's compare the different banks in terms of interest rates. First is Security Bank. Their minimum loan amount is 1 million and maximum of 20 million with an appraised value of 3,500 within Metro Manila and 4,500 in Calabar Zone. And just like any other banks, the appraisal fee is waived for accredited developers. So if you are to buy from uh, big developers, usually they have tie-ups with their chosen banks. Uh, so you can pay your loan up to 25 years for house and lot, 15 years for condo units, and 10 years for residential lots. So when it comes to payment terms, they have an interest rate of 5.8% for one to three years fixing period, 6.25% for five years, and 6.75% for 10 years. It's quite low compared to other banks. So next we have PS Bank. Their minimum loan amount is 500,000 and max of 25 million with an appraisal fee of 5,000 pesos. So you can pay your loan up to 25 years for house and lot and condo and 10 years for residential lots. So when it comes to interest rate, it's a little bit high. They have a fixing period for one year, 6.25%, then two years, 6.75%, for three years, 7%. So next is BDO. 
Their minimum loan amount is 300,000 for vacant lots and 500,000 for house and lot with an appraisal fee of 5,000 pesos within 30 kilometer radius of a BDO branch. And if it's outside that 30 kilometer radius, it's 5,500 pesos. Again, this is non-refundable. So you can pay your loan up to 20 years for house and lot and condo and 10 years for residential lots. So when it comes to interest rate, it's quite low and I'm not sure if this is a promo. They have 5.88% fixed for 1 to 3 years and 6.88% fixed for 4 to 5 years. And it's exclusively for Filipino citizens because BDO is also offering not only to Filipinos but also to foreign clients and dual citizens. But of course, this comes with a higher interest rate of 9.75% for fixed for one year and 10% fixed for two years and 10.5% fixed for three years. Next, we have Metro Bank. They have an appraisal fee of 4,000 pesos in Metro Manila and 4,500 in the countryside. They have an interest rate of 5.5% with a fixing period of one to three years. 6.25% with a fixing period of four to five years. Now for the last one on the list, we have PPI with a minimum loan amount of 400,000 pesos, a pre-sale fee of 5,000 pesos, with an interest rate of 6.25% for one to two years fixing period, 6.75% for three years, and 7.25% for four to five years. So all these banks are offering home loan, construction loan, and refinancing. Most of them offer longer payment terms like Security Bank and PS Bank with up to 25 years for house and lot. Most of them have shorter terms for condominiums and residential lots. Like So when it comes to lowest interest rates, we have BDO and Metro Bank. And when it comes to lowest appraisal fee, we have Security Bank for only 3,500. For faster, fastest approval, PS Bank is saying that they can um, confirm within a day and security bank as fast as five days and some other banks between five to seven working days. So if you guys are interested, all these banks are accepting online application. So aside from the monthly amortization that you'll be paying the banks, there are quite a number of fees that you will still need to pay, like the booking fees, the processing fees, the notarial fees, the documentary stump tax, which is 150 pesos for every 200 pesos of loan amount, the credit life insurance, which is around 5 pesos for every 1,000 pesos of the loan amount, the mortgage registration expenses, and the fire insurance. So applying for a home loan in the Philippines is very simple and easy. And with the number of options and promos of the different banks, it gives us flexibility. Compared to the past years, home loans now have become very affordable today because of the lowest interest rates. And with the number of properties that are also very affordable, now is the best time to become a homeowner and banks will help you achieve that goal. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Chris and if you guys have any topics in mind, please comment down below and I'll try to discuss it in my future vlogs. Thank you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye!